thing for this basketball team averages 14 a game, and most importantly, he's going to have to guard Tavian Dunmartin. And when you have not seen Dave, Tavian Dunmartin play before, you're in for a treat. This young guy can rock with the ball. Coastal Carolina in their home whites, Florida Gulf Coast in the road blues, and an early bucket for Will Lakai in the starting lineup here for the Shauna Clears. A lot of offense on this basketball team for the Eagles. Kick out to Caddo is too short. Able to tip it, keep it alive, get the offensive rebound, and draw a foul. And the foul's going to go on Rudy Williams. So, again, to reset the team, so you got the Eagles out of the Atlantic Sun. They finished conference play at 10-6. and six. And they're coming off a win against Detroit Mercy in the first round here of this basketball classic. That was last week. They beat Detroit Mercy in the final of 95-79. And for the Shauna Clears, they won against Maryland Eastern Shore 66-42 to last week. And again, for those of you just tuning in, the basketball classic is really a rebranded version of the CIT as Rudy Williams drives has it blocked from behind by Cyrus Largi. Got a piece of it. Didn't quit on the play. Nice block again at this end. And Mustafa gets the block. So, again, great honor for both these teams still to be playing. And Florida Gulf Coast, really good team. Great season. Finished 22 and 11 during the regular season. That shot is missed. And rebound by Lakai. It's interesting. Tavian Dunmartin being guarded by Rudy Williams, but at the other end, well, now he is guarding. Last time Dunmartin guarded Udige. Now he's on Rudy Williams. Udige gives it up to Vince Cole. Kind of lost the basketball, flips it up too short. And now Dunn Martin and the Eagles quickly back the other way. That is well within his range, fires it up, and it's missed. Lakai with another rebound. Lead pass to Mustafa running the court, and a good start here for Coastal Carolina. Mustafa's a big guy at 6'9". The guy that's guarding him didn't beat him down the floor. He's 6'11". Kevin Samuel lay up for the shunts. Largi bounces it down low to Kevin Samuel and goes over his left shoulder with the right hand, which is not his dominant hand, and scores. And, Nate, you and I were watching him during warm-ups, and you thought that was going to be a big factor here tonight. Yeah, well, they doubled him going to his left hand, and they made him go to his non-dominant hands. You just talked about it. It looked perfect. Big-time scorer inside for the Eagles. Utah J for three. Too strong. Long rebound down to Dunn Martin. And Martin's a big time scorer, but he's not the only one on this team. They got a bunch of them. Nice breakout. Intercepted by Mustafa. Lead pass to Vince Cole, trying to finish on the other end and fouled from behind by Cato. Shanta Clear is, as we've said many times this year, are really good when they slap it and go. They got it there and a little slap away, and a foul by Vince Cole going to the line for a couple. Vince Cole averaging over 15 points per game. Finished fourth in the Sun Belt in scoring during the regular season. Scored in double figures in all but five games this year. And knocks in the first one. Not only did he score in double figures in all but five games, but scored 20 or more in eight of the last 16 games. He had a roll going for a while there. And knocks both in here. The net didn't even move. And Coastal now with a 6-2 to two lead here early on. Man to man, both ways, both teams. Largi along the baseline, touch pass out to Dunn Martin. Such a shifty little player. He's only 5'8. Doesn't force it either. He doesn't force the action. He lets it come to him when he's open, he lets it fly. And a long three is good. As does Cyrus Largi. <laughs> Well, and that is a major weapon that Florida Gulf Coast has in their back pocket, without a doubt. They can score a ton of points as Lakai misses off target to the left. This is when they're good in transition. 
Cat along the baseline. Richie for three, no good. Mustafa with the rebound. They got Largie, they got Richie, and they got Dunn Martin. Three very capable, deep scorers. Florida Gulf Coast finished second in their conference in scoring just under 78 points per game. Mustafa reverse layup, and Mustafa with a couple of buckets here early on. Excellent job. Samuel's bigger than Mustafa. He hadn't played against many guys like that this year. So he went under the rim, let the rim be a screen for him. Mustafa has scored in double figures just three times in his last eight games. And four points already in this one. Sean as the Eagles love this. answer. Sean's love that high ball screen. And they hedge, speaking of Florida Gulf Coast, on the high ball screen. If Mustafa rolls quick, they can get him the ball because Sam is not quick, quick enough to hedge and then get back right there. you got to get it to him quick. Waited too late. Kick out to Uta Jay. Too short on the three. Chased it down, was able to at least kind of deflect it to Mustafa. Great mercy. And prior to that, they won seven of their last eight games of the regular season. Again, 22 and 11 on the year and 10 and 6 in conference play. Lost in the second round of their conference tournament. Both teams three and eight to start. Three out of eight, I should say. Prima Diva did not start in there now. Largi on the kick out of the corner again to Richie, and again a little bit too short. Williams leaves it for Uta Jay. Now back to Rudy in the corner. Big time mismatch. There it is. And that one knocked out of bounds. Last touch by Florida Gulf Coast. It'll go to the Shauna Clears here on the baseline. Good idea there. Mustafa saw the Kai cutting, but so did the guys in the blue shirts and knocked it out of bounds. Here's Diva. Rudy Williams left wide open, and he scores from three-point range. And we were talking with the Coastal coaches beforehand. All of a sudden, Abrima Diva now has scored in double figures in four of the last five games, and that has really opened up this offense. Well, they can't concentrate on everybody else if they have to guard Diva. If they don't have to guard Diva, they can concentrate on the outside shooters. It gives them another threat and another person they have to defend. Yeah, they collapsed on him, and then he kicked it out just like that. Touch pass over to Uta Jay. Thought about it. Now jumper from the baseline. No good. Mustafa with the offensive rebound, and a foul on the Eagles. And it's going to go on Kevin Samuel. Nice pull up by Udige there. Mustafa got it, but so did everybody else. And then Samuel reached around and grabbed Mustafa's right arm. Good call. Nice bounce pass <laughs> from Rudy Williams underneath to Mustafa. When the guy that's guarding your 6'9 center is 5'8, that's where you should throw the basketball. Mustafa didn't put it on the floor. He just laid it in. Smart play. Two feet in the paint initially. 13 to 7. Coastal Carolina with the lead. Ah. And this time a foul of Mustafa going around Kevin Samuel trying to poke it away. You got a guy that big you're guarding. He's not in the paint. Why are you going around to try to foul him? I mean, that's exactly what Coach Ellis is going to make that point because he's going to take him out. It's just not smart. Let him catch it out there. You know the double's probably going to come. You're going to have help. Don't foul him when he's three feet outside the paint. So Mustafa is out. Deshaun Thomas now in for the first time here tonight. Dunn Martin underneath to Samuel, guarded by Deshaun, trying to go around him with his left, does, but missed it. Good job by De Deshaun Thomas playing D, and he's going to get a layup. Blocked underneath by Samuel, but I believe it's goaltending, and it is. So give Deshaun Thomas a couple of points, and how about the hustle by Thomas, he's and hopefully he's too. okay. He hit the floor kind of hard. He fell off of Kevin Samuels. They both went to the ground. I think he just banged his knee. Hopefully that's all he did. Here it is again coming right at you. He blocked Great. it at one end and got it down the other end, and that's when Samuel fell on top of him, I should say. No trainer came out. He just banged his knee. He's okay. I think Coach Ellis is going to come out and make sure he's okay. Yeah, and hopefully we'll see from Deshaun Thomas because we were talking with Coach Ellis just before the game, and 
He said he was going to have to probably use a lot of big men tonight just to try and counter the size for Florida Gulf Coast. Yeah, Kevin Samuels, 6'11", and then when Samuel gets a blow, they bring in Andre Weir, who's 6'10", so they don't lose anything. Andre Weir, Richmond transfer. So Thomas now will head down to the end of the bench, and they'll take a look at him as Mustafa quickly comes back in. And the aforementioned Andre Weir is in for Kevin Samuel. The pace of this game is such where you got to play more than five guys. You'll, you'll just kill them if you don't. Again, another attempt from the corner missed by Largi, or by Richie, rather. Just has not been able to find it yet from long distance. He's a really good deep shooter, too. Deba, a little touch pass underneath to Mustafa, trying to go to Garrett Green. And Green lost it. So now the Eagles quickly back the other way. Cato into the corner. Anderson gives it up to Dunn Martin. It's a great matchup. They got Dunn Martin guarded by Garrett Green, who's really good defensively. See if he can hang with the very quick guard for Florida Gulf Coast. Cato lost it out of bounds. They're going to say last touch by Vince Cole. Now the shots get matched up like they want with Rudy Williams back on Dunn Martin. Anderson drives against Green. And so here we go. <laughs> Rudy Williams is going to draw a charge. Say, now nah, I'll give him the two points. That makes it 15 to 9. And Rudy traveled with it, so turnover goes back the other way. Move the feet before he put it on the floor. Both teams trying to find a rhythm here. They've obviously never played before. Watch tape, but it's different watching tape and actually getting out there against the opponent. They'll get in a the rhythm here right. soon. Cato skips it over to Largi. And again, the three pointer just not falling for Florida Gulf Coast. One for nine from three point range here to start. Good job not to move that pivot foot and keep your possession alive by Vince Cole. Green gets bumped <laughs> and draws the foul. And that will bring you watching, probably remember their run to the Sweet 16 back in 2013. Kind of a timely time of year to talk about that, obviously. They were a 15 seed and marched their way into the Sweet 16 and really stole the hearts of the entire country and became known as Dunk City. And their coach became known as the coach of the University of Southern California. Mustafa finishes. With another layup, that's now eight points, four of four from the field for Mustafa. There's a big players on Florida Gulf Coast, but when they have to switch and they're not around him, Mustafa's the biggest in the paint, and Cato just sticks a nice little jumper there. Yeah, it was interesting for Florida Gulf Coast. The success did not stop in 2013. They continue to have success. Went back to the NCAA tournament, 16 and 17. Just a great run for this program. Can't fade away when the guy guarding you is as big as you are. Weir just threw it back in Mustafa's face. Great block. Cato too short. Rudy Williams sprinting to the other end and collides with Zach Anderson. And the ball's going to stay with Coastal. Last touch by the Eagles. It looked like they got their feet caught up and, and Rudy got tripped. He had. A, uh, a wingman, Vince Cole, but the defender kind of blocked his vision to get it to Cole in the corner. Davian Dunn Martin back in the game. He missed his first couple shots. They took him out. Let him relax a little bit. He could, if he hits the first, the next one, he could be on a roll here because he's a very capable scorer. Cole gets it away to Deba. A little bit too strong, and the long rebound out to Dunmartin. As you mentioned, Nate, 0 for 3 to start. He kicks it out this time, and getting his teammates involved, finds Dakota Rivers. 
Which is Dakota Rivers led the ace on in blocks last year with 35. Now he's a scorer this year because of the size they brought in. Makes it 17 to 14, just a three point game. Vince Cole too strong on the three. This time Dunn Martin finds Anderson. That one no good. Tip missed. And Diba grabs it. Will Kai fakes the pass. And now the three-pointer in and out. Vince Cole, though, right there to tip it back in. <laughs> the Kai faked the pass to the corner, and Largie went with the fake. And he realized, heck, there's nobody near me. I better shoot it. Hung around the rim and let shooters touch. And who did Jay finished it? Largi, what a sweet move, baseline. And scores Cyrus Largi out of Miramar, Florida, former walk-on. Led the team in scoring last year, and now Diba drives, has it slapped away at the last second off his knee, and that'll give it back to the Eagles. This is a gifted basketball team in the blue shorts offensively. Largi this season averaged just under 11 points per game. They scored just under 80 a game at 78. Dunn Martin tries to pass it underneath and off the leg of Mustafa. Now Kevin Samuel is going to check back in for Florida Gulf Coast. And Andre Weir is going to check out. And they gain a couple inches. Dunn Martin looking for his first make, and he's got it. You don't, if you're an opponent, you don't want to see him make that first one because he can make them in bunches. He went right by Josh Udijay. The freshman's going to get schooled on the defensive end if, if he doesn't make it very difficult for him to even catch the ball, let alone do something with it afterwards. Shot clock down to eight as Udijay drives, puts up a shot, and... It's going to be a push on Deshaun Thomas, so a foul against Coastal will give it to Florida Gulf Coast as we have just a one-point game. Good move by Udijay. He realized that the 5'8 defender's on him. Just goes straight up. He tried to, like, lay it in. You can take, get a shot whenever you want against Dunmar and just go straight up in the air and make a 10-footer. You love that cross-court skip pass. Look out. Well, there's a lot of bodies on the ground. Yeah, Anderson actually had a jump over Samuel, who was on the ground. Foul on Vince Cole. That'll be his first. See the big man trips right there. And then a little hop, skip, and a jump over him. Vince Cole pops him. He just. So Zach Anderson now to the line out of Apopka, Florida. Rattles it in. He had 10 points in round one with six boards coming off the bench. It's interesting. I saw a quote from the ex North Carolina coach, Roy Williams. He said, When I coached, I never looked at the scoreboard in the first half. He said, When I'm a fan, I look every two seconds. Fadeaway jumper is good by Vince Cole as Coastal Carolina retakes the lead. I was just about ready to say Coastal led by as many as eight early on. Got that one's blocked. Diva skips it to Cole. In and out to Sean Thomas, almost with a Boy, highlight right putback. Transition D, you better get back to protect the paint, but you got to be ready for the skip pass. Shana Clear's done a good job of not giving open shots because of that skip. Coming up on seven minutes to play, first half done. Martin with the drive and score. <laughs> this little guy's five foot eight, incredible player. Josh Udeze may be the best athlete on the Shanta Clears, and he just got beat bad on that one. That's how good Dunn Martin is with the ball in his hands. That went too short. Samuel ends up with the rebound. Richie still can't get it to go. 
Sonic Tears were lucky there. Richie had a wide open look and he just didn't make it. Foul on Dakota Rivers going over the back and that'll bring us to another media timeout. 6.34 left to play. Here in the first half from Conway, it's the Eagles on the road with a one-point lead. Florida Gulf Coast on top by one, 22 to 21, 6.34 to play here in the first half. And a lot of stats to kind of look over here, Nate. One of the surprising ones is for the Eagles, just two of 14 from three-point range. Yeah, and they're a very good three-point shooting team. They only shoot 35% for the year. Um, it'll all even out. It usually does. Dunn Martin guarding Deep. I'd post Deep up. Rudy. As the defense collapse on him, gets it away to Cole with seven seconds on the shot clock. Back door to Willa Kai, misses the jam attempt. But Mustafa keeps the possession alive. Sam got a piece of that one. Great pass. Makai fakes the three, drives again off the glass, won't go. Mustafa trying to tip it to keep it alive, but it comes down to Florida Gulf Coast. Now Den Martin has it slapped away by Rudy Williams. I think they got Rudy with the foul. Now they're going to say Diva instead. Oh, I thought it was his second. It's only his first, okay. Dunn Martin. Wow, <laughs> a <laughs> high floater on the baseline that drops. The rim is 10 feet high. The top of the backboard's probably 13 feet high. That ball went 15 feet in the air before it went in. That's a special shot. Deba tries to sneak it into Mustafa, knocked away. Well, it's a good idea because Samuel came out and doubled Mustafa because Dun Martin was on him. And that one misses badly. And for Dun Martin, now three of eight, 0 for four from three point range. Watch how high this goes. Almost went out of our camera shot before it went in the basket. When you're that small, you got to learn to play over bigger people your whole life, and he has done it well. Williams drives on Largi. Missed it. Mustafa's tip in won't go. It's right there for it. 5-8 guarded by 6-9. That's a nice little matchup. Heck, yeah, I'd give it back to him, too. Samuel, nice pass to Cato, but... Good help side defense by Coastal. Dunn Martin spinning, gets it to Largi, no good. Offensive rebound by Samuel and the strong putback. Mustafa usually gets those when he's got inside position, but Samuel just reached over above him that time. Nice follow again, missed. Mustafa able to come up with it. Williams hangs, drives, and draws the foul. That's when Rudy Williams gets mad. He misses an easy one, and he figures the heck with it. I'm just going to the basket, and he's strong enough to get the shot off that time he got fouled. There's the tip and the miss. It's going to get kicked out to Rudy Williams on the right side. Right side of your picture. He's just going to take it right to the rim against the biggest guy on the floor. He's capable of doing that, and he's got the strength and the quicks to get away with it. Going to go for the line for two, and a foul on Samuel. His second. Got to make that free throw. It's like practice. It was dead silent in here. Well, we got a lot of big-time transfers on the court. Rudy Williams, obviously one of them, out of Kansas State University. Average just over 14 points per game during the season, which was just out of the top 10 in the league here in the Sun Belt. Samuel just went out. He was a TCU grad for four years. He played at TCU. And then the young man that comes in for him went one semester at Richmond and then transferred. And Cato knocks in the three. Florida Gulf Coast with their third three-pointer, now three of 17. 
Makes it 29-23. Well, fade away too short. Eagles running. Then Martin stops. A little hesitation move. Dumps it off. Unusual circumstance. He was let go a couple weeks ago. They hired a new coach, Pat Chambers, the former Penn State coach. But they told him if you make the postseason, you can still coach, and that's why he's here. Rudy Williams, a quick drive and score. So that snaps an 0 for 10 by Coastal Carolina. How quick we are to the basket. Shots in a little zone now. Got to find the shooters. There's a bunch of them. Good deflection. Diva kicks it out to Williams. Wow. Quick little 5-0 run. And just like that, Florida Gulf Coast calls a timeout. It's amazing the mentality of a basketball player. You make a layup, but you see it go through the basket. Next time you touch it, bingo, deep from three for Rudy Williams. Here's Diva goes to the middle and draws the defense. Williams flares to the rim, excuse me, to the three-point line. Finds him and he hits it. Timeout, Florida Gulf Coast. Six-point game. Bingo, one-point game. Yeah, Coastal led by as many as eight early. As you just mentioned, Florida Gulf Coast led by six. But now a quick little run by... Coastal Carolina has them right back within one point. Coastal Which, was 0 for 10 until those last two field goals. We've seen it many times. That all started because they went to a 2-3 zone, got a little deflection. When they can slap the ball and get deflections, good things happen because they're really good in transition. Dunn Martin tries to pass it to Weir. He lost it, but it was slapped away by Coastal. I like about Dunn Martin is he's, he's a very capable scorer. He's a big time scorer. He had 30, 33 in the first game, but he doesn't force it. That way, he might have had a layup, but he, he's a willing passer because he averages over six assists a game as well. That's responsible for a lot of points for his team. He just weaves in and out of everybody. Dunn Martin might have left his feet. Missed it as it rims out. Diva hangs in and out. Bank that ball. Use that glass to help you put the ball in the basket, especially when you're moving laterally, laterally that quick. We are over the top of Mustafa. You said young man went to Richmond for one semester. Evidently didn't like it up there. Wanted some nice sunny sh Florida weather and transferred down. Well, Fort Myers is not a bad place to be. Not at all. Mustafa trying to return the favor. Can't do it, but Will Lakai right there with the reverse layup to put it back in. Will Lakai can be a force around the bucket. A good move, not thinking Mustafa was going to make it. You got to expect everyone to miss. Right place, right time. Back to the zone. 2 3. Excuse me, box and one on Dunmartin. Rudy Williams has him. Anderson gets Vince Cole in the air. And now the chip shot is good. Florida Gulf Coast looked a little confused in the beginning of that possession, but then they finally figured it out. They attacked it properly and got a good one. Makai has it slapped away. Mustafa right there with the bucket and the foul. Hassan Mustafa is getting better. What didn't he do in that possession? He didn't put it on the floor. He brought it down, but he didn't dribble it. Two hands, and he's strong with, with the ball, and he went straight up. Watch, he'll get the slap around. No dribble. Straight up against Richie, and Richie slapped him. Chance for an and one. Chance to tie the game here at 33 with 124 left to play. Mustafa now with 11 points to lead all scores. Then Martin misses on the floater. Rudy gets Smart Largy play. in there and draws the foul. Smart play. He didn't really catch it cleanly, but when he heard the uh, foul, excuse me, heard the whistle and got fouled, they're going to get him before the shot. This is going to be interesting. That's a good call. Yeah, it's a good call. 
Second foul on Largy, so he's going to head to the bench. I thought it was before the shot. Now they're going to give him three. Rudy Williams, 74% from the free throw line this season. And that gives Coastal Carolina the lead. Twelve points for Rudy Williams. And that one in and out. And out of bounds, it's going to go to the Eagles. With 64 seconds to play here in this first half. Tough, tough to make three in a row. <laughs> Dunn Martin comes alive. His first three-pointer, he has nine points. It's not surprised me because I watched him do it on tape over and over and over. Mustafa double team tries to bank it in. Weir grabs the rebound. My go coach is really smart. Every time Dunn Martin is guarding somebody, they double or triple him to make it easier on him. Diva tries to slap it away and fouls Weir. And for Diba, that's going to be his second foul. Diba helps on the roll, and the, the screener, Weir drives, or excuse me, rolls, gets the ball, and then Makai pops him. Now, Andre Weir has not been on the free throw line very often this season, just 15 for 33 coming into today. And hits one of two. It's a three-point game. Essentially, Chanticleers will get the last shot. There's about seven or eight tenths more than the shot. Pete season as the head coach for Coastal Carolina, 48th overall as a coach. No D, but Rudy Williams will run the show against the 2-3 zone. First time in the half for FGCU running the zone. Good idea. Shot clock down to eight. Rudy gives it to Lakai, steps back, three seconds left. Down to one second left, and Rudy did not get the shot off. From basically, as soon as he touches it. Dunn Martin heaves it and oh, yeah. gets it at the buzzer. Man to man for Deshaun Declears as they started the game. All right, again, Florida Gulf Coast in the road blue uniforms, Coastal in the home whites. Two teams trying to keep their seasons live. As Nate and I talked about back in the open, only 36 college basketball teams still alive right now. Samuel with the left hand finishes to make it 42 to 34. He's just a big body defensively just hangs around, excuse me, offensively just hangs around the basket. And the Eagles have a foul charge to Tavian Dunn-Martin. His first. Give me a foul trouble, he won't be in there. Vince Cole for three, no good. Tip by Will Lakai to keep it alive. Now to Rudy Williams, wide open for three. And missed it. Vince Cole right there, though, on the miss to grab it and put it in. Great teamwork. Lakai kept it going. Cole missed. Rudy Williams got it back. He missed. Vince Cole got it again. Attack the offensive glass. That's what the Chanticleers have done all season and done it effectively. Cato tried to answer off the front of the iron, and Mustafa now with a double-double, 11 points and 10 rebounds. Good seal out by the, on the big guy, Samuel. Nice pass. And Mustafa gets it to fall. Mustafa, Mustafa oh, very Mustafa. effective around the rim, making a lot more than he's missing. 13 points, 10 rebounds. Get another double-double, so his 13th of the season. Missed by Dunn Martin. Here comes Rudy Williams, three on two back the other way. They go to Vince Cole. Lost it on the drive. And, yeah, they're going to say last touched by Florida Gulf Coast. So he it's going to stay with the Shauna Clears. Somebody slapped it out of his hand. 
New Jersey Wisconsin clears like to have a little wraparound screen here for a jumper from Vince Cole. They switched it. Still got the little wraparound of Rudy. Well, Vince Cole with a deep three, but three seconds in the lane called against Mustafa. That'll be a turnover to give it back to the Eagles. As we know, Vince Cole makes a couple. He makes them in bunches. Whether it counted or not, he saw it go through the basket. There's a matchup you don't want if you're on defense. <laughs> Mustafa Garden, Dunn Martin, he's saying, get out of my way. 6'9 versus 5'8. I think Mustafa's taking this as a challenge. Yes, he is. That's pretty good defense. He got a piece of it, too. And Lakai dives. Debo with the lead pass to Mustafa. No look to Rudy Williams, and Rudy's probably like, what the heck? Diva trying behind the back to uh, Mustafa. Way too fancy, not needed. Coach yeah. Ellis going to make the great coaching point right here. Don't say a word to Abrima Diva, just take him out of the game. He's not even going to look at him when he goes by. Didn't need it, they had a layup. You're exactly right. He didn't he need did to look at him. even make eye contact. No, he didn't need to. He made his point, and Abrima Diva won't do it again. Largi fakes the three and got caught in the air, throws it away. The greatest teacher is one of those chairs over there. You don't have to say anything. He knows he turned the ball over. Vince Cole steps through the lane, leaves it short. Mustafa tips it. Uta J back to Mustafa and fouled underneath. Since the first round of this tournament to this round, you saw Benny Moss, remember we showed him talking to Hassan Mustafa before the game and at halftime too. He has been aggressive attacking the basket with two hands, not these fade away jump shots. I guarantee you they showed him nine million clips of him fading away, shooting a shot that didn't go in. And now he's been aggressive and it's paid off. He's got a lot of buckets tonight. Sub coming in for Samuel. He wanted to go out before the first shot. Can't do that. And now he'll come out. Looks like Zach Anderson's going to come back in. Andre Weir also will check in. And that's another way to combat their size is to run them to death. Run Samuel and Weir up the floor until they get tired and have to go out. Shot the clears are used to that. And no good by Mustafa, so 13 points, still 10 rebounds for the Shauna Clears big man. Four-point game. Put him on Dunn Martin again. Come on, he stopped him last time. <laughs> well, give and go, pick and roll down to Weir, missed it. Mustafa was late after the, the hedge, but Udije got a piece of him, blocked it from behind. UDJ, a big jump stop. Cole for three, sh too short. That's Vince Cole's look, though. That's a good shot. And now commits a foul on the other end. And Vince Cole now three for 11 from the field, 0 for 4 from three point range. And that's going to be his second foul. Sean Declares keep going inside to Mustafa. As we've said many times during the year, he's a willing passer. He will find the open shooters, and Vince Cole will be one of them. He'll make his. It looks like Deba now is going to check back in, and Vince Cole now is going to come out with a couple of fouls. Coach Ellis said something to him. I guarantee he told him, keep shooting it. If you're open, keep shooting it. The best I ever saw, and I haven't been with a lot of coaches, that it helped a co uh, player's confidence is Bobby Kremens. Just keep shooting the ball. If you're a shooter, keep shooting it. Underneath to Mustafa, a little up and under move, spins and scores, and that's a two-point game. He's getting better. 
I mean, he didn't have those kind of moves early in the game, early in the season. It would be those fadeaway jump hooks. They finally got through to his brain. You got to show it to him a million, like, don't touch the stove, son. Until he burns himself enough times, he'll stop touching the stove. Anderson gets it away to Cato. Quick trigger on the three, no good. Backside rebound by the Shauna Clears. Here comes Deba. Williams drives, can't get it to go. Cato with the rebound. And that was halfway down. Look Dunn out. Martin hits the three. His third one of the game. It's a five point swing. The layup that missed at one end and the three at this end. Dunn Martin averages over 20 points per game eight times this season. He's gone for 30 or more. He has 15 in this one. Rudy Williams to inbound here for the Shauna Clears. Mustafa working on his double-double. And now 17 points, 11 rebounds. Well, his, his teammates finally got out of the way and gave him a little room in the lane. They were all clogged in there. Dunn Martin throws it up, won't go. Mustafa pulls down the rebound. What a game for Hassan Mustafa. Welcome back, big fella. Absolutely. 17 points, 12 rebounds. Keep cutting, because he'll find you. And Rudy Williams in and out on the three. Put back is good and a foul. Well, Willikai's coming live the last couple weeks on the glass. Couple, he made some threes streaky, way, streaky wise early in the basketball season. But watch Willikai here. I guess we had some technical difficulties. Great job to attack the glass, put it in, get an and one opportunity. Yeah, you're right about Lakai, though, Nate. I mean, double figures in three of his last seven. And in that game against Maryland Eastern Shore, seven points, eight rebounds, four blocks. I mean, really did a good job chipping in in that win against Maryland Eastern Shore. And Lakai's got a chance Mustafa to break Isaac Hippolyte in for him. Lakai, a chance to tie this game. And it's good. You would think they go into Samuel now because I would think Hippolyte's going to guard him or they're going to go zone. Nope, Hippolyte's guarding him. He's not as big, but he's strong enough. Oh, I think Cato went up and down with it. And... It's going to be a turnover, regardless whether or not he stepped on the baseline or went up and down with it. It's going to be Shauna Clear basketball. Cato drove baseline, and the, the defender, which was Udigi, I believe, and Mustaf, and Nami um, Bimadima, and Lakai all went to the baseline to meet him, and he got scared and walked. Great help side defense. You don't have any post up players now. You've got to move the basketball and open it up for drives. Like that. Peter J stops from the elbow. Can't get it to go. Great shot, just didn't make it. Cato to the other end. Stuck on the baseline again. Three, Three on, on one. one for the shot of clears. Rudy Williams takes it all the way himself. Excellent job. I'm telling you, when the shot slapped the ball away, he did really good. They just gave a delay of game warning to Mr. Debo. Nothing, does it again, technical foul. A lot of guys do, they get the ball and throw it to the ref. Well, you can't touch it if it goes through. You're not supposed to. Coastal Carolina has taken a two-point lead on a 7-0 run. A 13-3 run over the last six minutes. Halftime talk worked. I would think next dead ball, Mustafa comes back. Oh, big three-pointer. From deep by Dakota Rivers. Has only hit 16 threes all season, but that's a big one. It puts Florida Gulf Coast back on top by one. He only averages four a game. He's got six, two threes. Snaps the 7 0 run by Coastal. And Rudy Williams lost it out of bounds. And Rivers hit it and went off Rudy Williams' head. Rudy Williams says he got fouled. I 
Here comes Dunn Martin. He has 15 points. Team leader in scoring and threes. Gives it up, now gets it back. Also leads the team in assists. Largi on the baseline, stuck. Rudy pokes it away. Samuel able to get it, tried to pass it, and the Shauna Clear is intercepted. Great collapsing defense on the drive to slap it loose. And now Samuel able to pick it away. Hippolyte comes back on the other end. Somebody grab it. Here we go. Diva to Rudy Williams for three. Diva came flying down the floor, and Rudy Williams just found his spot on that baseline right corner. Ibrahim Diva, non-fancy dancey, gave it to him for an easy three. Rudy Williams now with 16 points. Three three-pointers. Rivers looking for another one. Two short. Lakai makes the catch on the rebound. Diva drives, shoots it to Udige in the corner. Nice, nice save. I think Diva probably could have taken it all the way to the rim. Yeah, I think so too, like that. This time he does and scores. I think he thought that too after he passed it. And he made up for it. Florida Gulf Coast, four turnovers. Now in the last four minutes. Dunn Martin flips it out to Anderson, misses everything, and Diva. Hauls it in. The closeout by the Kai aggressively. Score here, Fuller Golf Coast might say timeout. And it's 444 and a two minute and 17 second stretch of no points. Vince Cole from the corner trying to add to the lead, and he does. Watch out for Vince Cole when he makes one. I'm telling you, he's very streaky in a good way. The help side defense on the drives has been really good for the guys in the white shirts. Another turnover. Tries to thread the needle on a pass to Unijay. Good hands by the Eagles, stolen away. Largi steps through, caught in the air, feeds it to Anderson, too short. Largi tips it to keep it alive. And a whistle back Gonna get underneath. A flop warning against Coastal. Going to go on Mustafa. You're right, Nate. He's done everything else well tonight. Might as well get a flop, too. The first one means nothing. The second one hurts you. 17 points, 12 rebounds for number 44. Right. Hey, I don't think he touched them. That's a good call. Oh, and now... I don't remember a flop warning earlier. If a flop warning is called on anybody, the next one's a technical. But I don't remember the first one. There must have been one. You remember that? I, I don't remember one. Don't remember one from earlier in the game. Had to have been one earlier. Or yeah. else it's a Class B technical right there. One shot and the ball, of course, for Florida Gulf Coast. That breaks their scoring drought. No, no argument from the Coastal coaching staff. So Three-pointer in the corner is no good, but a foul. And Florida Gulf Coast now trying to make a run. I think Garrett Green lost his balance on the closeout when he went out there to Zach Anderson. And he popped him behind the line for three. Excuse me, Rivers, not Anderson. Dakota Rivers. Ten and zero. I'm getting old. I missed the, the one on his jersey. Yeah, he slipped. You can see it right there. He slipped on a wet spot. Turned his ankle a little bit, too, talking about Garrett Green. Sometimes when the huddles happen at timeouts, you got to wipe that floor up. These guys are running hard. How about this? Dakota Rivers, only 11 free throw attempts all season coming into this one. And that one's too strong, tipped. Diva grabs it, and now I believe a foul on Rivers, yep. and it is. And, it was, and he only shooting, he's only shooting 46% coming in. 
So the foul by Garrett Green and the Chanticleers get out of it with making one of three. That's the third foul on Rivers. He's going to head to the bench. If Mustafa can stay as effective as he was when he got that blow to get back in it. Diva kicks it out to Vince Cole for three. Diva had a layup, but Diva's a passer extraordinaire. Vince Cole for a big one. Everybody in the building thought he had a layup. Largi kicks it out to Cato, and he hits the three-pointer. He is so dangerous. I feel like we talk so much about Dunn Martin and Samuel, but don't sleep on Cato. He's only averaging, what, about eight points per game, but he is very capable of knocking in those threes. His dad Bill is his high school coach, and he taught him well. Mustafa, nice pass to Udijay, missed it. Mustafa trying to keep it alive. Garrett Green got hit in the face, too. Here's Cato again. Richie off the glass and in. What a shot by Richie. Garrett Green got hit in the right eye. They're going to check him out. Garrett Green's saying he's fine. I wouldn't think Eric Green's going to come out. They're going to take him out, yeah, though, as Will Lakai is sure. going to come in. So now a 5-0 run by Florida Gulf Coast. It was just 57-50 to a moment ago. The skip pass again resulted in a wide-open three. Before that last bucket, and then Richie got the little four-footer. Coming up on zone. eight and a half minutes to play. He's going to go to screen the middle. We'll get a little jumper from Abrima Diva in the middle. That's where he goes. He's a distributor. Nobody guarded him, so he shot it. Six assists, now four points for Diva. Bounce pass to Samuel, blocked by Mustafa, and a foul. That was close. See the official right there, Damon Williams, saying that he moved his arm down. Right there. Damon Williams was a great, not a good, a great basketball player at VMI. And I speak from personal experience because I sat on the other bench and watched him too many times beat us at the Citadel. He was good. Raymond and Damon, twin brothers. Play for Joe Cantafio at VMI. Samuel second, way too short. Mustafa with the rebound. Samuel, another one, not a great free throw shooter. 30% on the season. Diba feeds it down low to <laughs> Mustafa and the reverse layup. <laughs> Assist number seven for Ibrima Diba on the evening. Six-point lead for Coastal Carolina. Anderson guarded by Diva, poked it away, now tries to pass it to Samuel, but it's because, and, and Nate, you and I actually learned something. Yep, There's actually a delay category of penalties. The first delay we had was when Abrima Diva was whistled for the delay of game when yep. he slapped the basketball. So the second delay uh, penalty was on the flop to Mustafa. So when you have two penalties that come out of that delay category, that results either way in a Class B technical foul and a uh, free throw being taken. Even so, though it was the first flop of the game, it was the second delay penalty. Exactly. Yeah, really interesting. Dunn Martin gets Mustafa in there, kicks it out to Anderson, and he hits the three. This team is so dangerous, and really the Eagles, Nate, are probably never out of any game the way they can shoot three-pointers. Absolutely. Did they struggle in the beginning? Yeah, but once they get hot, I mean, they are always going to be close. And that's the first time Mustafa on that previous miss kind of faded away from the basket. He hadn't done that all the evening. Diba tries to leave it for Mustafa. And that's a tough pass. Bounces it right past him, and Anderson spun and traveled with it. That's a tough pass to throw it to Ibrahimadiba, who's rolling on the screen, and you throw it to his ankles.
good idea. It's just a hard one for a big guy that 6'9 to bend down and catch it. And Debo lost it. But they're going to say last touch by Samuel. Yeah, he tried to get it to uh, Mustafa again, but Samuel slapped it down. Great effort, and then the referee says, excuse me, tuck your shirt in. Rudy Williams guarded by Samuel on the baseline. And how is this happening? Mustafa again yeah. was being guarded by Dunn Martin. I saw that. Rudy Williams over the top of Samuel for three. What in the world is going on? All of a sudden, each team's center was caught guarding the other team's starting point guard. 19 for Rudy Williams, 19 for Mustafa. Dunn Martin, pass Mustafa, can't roll it in. Get it to Diva and run. And Diva tries to no look it to Rudy Williams. Yeah, I think he faked out, of bounds. He faked out his, his teammate. Drive the ball to the basket when the defense contracts on you, then Rudy Williams is going to spot up. He kind of faked him out there. Six minutes left to play. Six-point lead for Coastal. Turnover 13 for the Shants, 13 turnovers for Florida Gulf Coast as well. This game has not gone plus or minus eight points either way. Dunn Martin spins out the three. I don't care if he misses 10 in a row. He'll, you can't expect him to miss the 11th. Here comes the screen and roll. If you hit the roller quick. Mustafa against Samuel. Cut. He's going to find you. And a strong move blocked, though, by Samuel. Big time block. Dunmartin spins, gives it to Cato. He speeds it in and draws the foul. For a big man, Kevin Samuel's got quick feet. He chased Mustafa across the lane and slapped it back in his face. It was a great block. How about that burst of speed by Cato? I mean, all of a sudden, like a lightning bolt to the rim. And again, draws the foul, so he'll head to the line for a couple of free throws. A 72% free throw shooter on the season. Some really good athletes on both of these teams out here. That's why they're still playing basketball. Again, just 36 teams across the country whose seasons are still alive. you got 16 in the NCAA tournament, obviously, eight in the NIT. CBI has eight. And what, we've got four here in the basketball classic. Yep. So most, Cato makes it a four-point game again. Most guys whose dads were their high school coach or gym rats, they're good free throw shooters. Because when they were eight years old, dad was coaching, they're shooting free throws. Two-three zone. Get deep in the middle and let him attack it. Or score it. He has six points, gets the little floater to fall in the lane. Six points, seven assists, five rebounds. That's pretty complete, but they're not done yet. Bounce pass to Samuel and lost it out of bounds. Turnovers really starting to take their toll here now on Florida Gulf Coast. That is 14 turnovers on the Eagles. Out of the zone, man to man. And those 14 turnovers have led to 15 points the other way for the Shawna Clears. And now a foul on Cato. At six, one more and the shots will be in the bonus. And it's interesting right now. I'm looking up the scoreboard. The Shanti Clears have six fouls on them. Oh, excuse me, they've committed no five. It's not yet. Because when it gets to six, you got to foul the big guy when he gets it because he's a 30% free throw shooter. You can't give him layups. What a Diva, pass. What a pass to Mustafa and the jam. And all they've done is make it to the NCAA tournament three times over that stretch, including a Sweet 16 appearance. It has been a great run for this program since going D1 back in the mid-2000s. And a illegal screen. Yep, illegal screen foul on the Eagles. We'll give it right back to the Shawna Clears. Foul on Samuel is his fourth. Samuel tonight, six points and six rebounds. Averages 12 rebounds and just done, or 12 points rather, and 
just under 10 rebounds. Rudy Williams too strong. Samuel, one of just three active players to have 1,000 points and 1,000 rebounds in his career. That was too short by Cato. Rudy Williams on the run out. Little bump. Scores a foul and free throw. And now to make it an 11-point lead. If you're a Florida golf coach, you've got to keep doing what you're doing. Drive the ball, and if it's Gun Martin, take it. If it's somebody else, be ready for a skip pass because they're really good at the skip pass for the wide-open jumper. Dun Martin with 15 points. He averages about 22, and there's another turnover. And now Deba can't hang on to it, able to just poke it away, though, to Rudy Williams to save it. Up top to Will Lakai on the alley-oop layup. Really smart play by Lakai. Instead of trying to get the crowd going with the dunk, it wasn't a perfect pass, but he got the two points. That was perfect. 13-point lead for Coastal. Coming up on three minutes left to play. 16 turnovers for the guys in the blue. Dunn Martin has gone for 30 or more points eight times this season. I'm telling you, this kid can explode at any moment. I think they just called another flop. Yeah, they did. And it's went against Dunn Martin. So. I agree. That's a second flop. So why no free throw on that one? I don't know. It should be. Unless after two you start over, I don't know. And a whistle and a foul. This one is going to go against Cyrus Largi. Now Shonda clears. Not in the double bonus. That's number nine. But Lakai will be there for the one and one. Thought I learned something about the rule, but the uh, yeah. second flop, I don't get it. I'm with you. Will Akai makes it 74-62. Double-double, 10 points, 11 boards. For the transfer out of New Mexico State. Here comes Dunn Martin racing it up. Hands it off to Cato. Quickly picked up defensively by Deba. Rudy Williams doing a good job of not letting Dunn Martin touch it. Tries to shoot over the top of Mustafa. Missed it. Rudy Williams has it nearly taken away by Dunn Martin. And now it is slapped out of his hands. Ball in your primary ball handler's hands. Nate, don't you just have the feeling that this is not over yet? Oh, absolutely. For the Eagles? I mean, even though they're down 12. The way they make threes. Rudy Dunn Martin is... against Rudy Williams, trying to get around him, steps back. Diva helps out, shot is missed. And yeah. now the lead pass to Vince Cole on the other end, wide open. When Dunmore was going to go all through all those dribbling stuff, Diva actually went over and doubled him and then took the ball away from him. They're doing it again. They Dun got Martin. it again. So it should be two shots for Diva. But going back to the whole strategy thing, what a brilliant move by Coach Ellis and his staff. Dunmore's dribbling around. Rudy Williams doing a great job trying to guard him. And Diva comes over and doubles him and takes the ball away from him twice. Back-to-back -back possessions. And Deba now with eight points, nine assists, and six rebounds. Now this is the, the regular foul because they're over the bonus two shots. Yeah, good that feels for Deba. Remember when he missed one at the end of a game that cost him the game? And he practices it. Over and over and over, and it just paid off for him four in a row. That makes it an 80 to 62 lead for Coastal Carolina. A 7 0 run over the last 63 seconds. And the referee said blue ball. Of course, it's white ball because the foul was committed by blue when he explained it to me. It's going to be a seven or eight point trip. Four free throws. Yeah, three-pointer here. Actually, you'd have a chance at an eight-point play if you wanted shot the four free throws and then a foul on a three-point made. Shot clock's Make not going to be – I mean, the shot's not going to be taken until that ball, shot clock's at single digits. Great second half by Deshanta Clears. Deba hangs in the air, gets it away to Mustafa. 
Spins and he lays it in. What a perfect possession. Took the shot clock all the way down to just a second left. Anderson for three on the other end. 12 points. His second three-pointer of the night. Boy, everyone on this team can shoot threes. Yes, they can. Mustafa's season high, by the way, is 24 points. He has 23 points, 14 rebounds. Tries to tap this one out. A foul, and it's going to be over the back on Mustafa. Yeah, Dakota Rovers did a good job of sealing him out. He just wanted to keep the shot, keep the ball alive. Great game for that young man. 23 points, 14 boards. Cliff Ellis talking things over with Will Akai. I think he wanted him to chew up a little bit yeah. more clock before taking that shot. Caddo all the way to the baseline, has to give it up. Anderson looking for another three. That went too short. Rudy Williams comes up with the rebound. 43 seconds left to play, and Coastal Carolina is going to move on here in the basketball classic. You know what I love here? Let the shot clock run out and hand the ball to the official. Don't even try to shoot it. A classy move. Yeah, we've seen that a few times before, but I wish more teams would do that. Don't I try and take a shot. I love Just more teams to do it. Let coach. the horn go off on the shot clock and hand the ball off. I'm with you. A little fadeaway jumper. <laughs> it's good, though. 84-65. Rudy Williams adds to his total tonight. Now 24 points. And five assists. He just took game high honors away from Mustafa with that one. Anderson steps back. Rattles in another three, his third of the game. Coastal inbounds it, and now they can dribble the clock out. This one's over. Coastal Carolina.